Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and today we're going to talk about .OS 5.1.2 official. In this video, we're going to install it, we're going to have a look at the change log and a lot of other things. So before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than 1100 like-minded people helping each other so you can join the discussion there as well. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going Now I know that you're wondering this is not a X3 Pro and the video is about the X3 Pro. Well, this is a Poco C3. I'm just reading the change log of this device and then we will take this away. So what do we have here? .OS 5.1.2 official Android 11 updated on the 27th of July. Device change log, it says initial build with OSS vendor. So for .OS, this is the first build with OSS vendor for the Poco X3 Pro. Now it says clean flash is required. So if before this you were on .OS, Please make sure you do a clean flash and that is what this video is about. You need to start from scratch and later you can do a dirty flash or a update sort of a thing. Ships with Mochi kernel suggested firmware 12.5.2 global. SE Linux status is enforcing safety net passes out of the box. Both Vanilla and GApps variants are available. We are going to flash the GApps variant. So that's about the change log. So let's take this bad boy away and let's have a look at our poco x3 pro now what do you need to do to prep the device you need to make sure that everything on your phone is backed up including internal storage because the method that we're going to do a clean flash for includes formatting data which wipes everything on your internal storage so also make sure you have more than 50 percent battery you have an unlocked bootloader with the latest twrp installed and the files that you will need is of course the 12.5.2 firmware and the dot os rom itself right so let's get right into it let's first boot into twrp because i have the files copied on the sd card you can use the usb otg or after formatting data you can go ahead and connect the phone to the computer or laptop and you can copy the files the links are mentioned in the description so let's go ahead and let's power okay okay so press and hold volume up and power okay now, as you can see the TWRP logo, that means we have booted into TWRP. All right, so once you're in TWRP, you can go to wipe, format data, type in yes. Okay, and then click on reboot and select recovery. Now remember, when you do format data, as I said earlier, everything on your phone's internal storage gets wiped. And that is how we will get a very, very clean flash. So now go to wipe. Let's wait for the touch drivers to load on TWRP. All right, so once you're back in TWRP, go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, internal storage, cache, wipe all of those because our files are on the micro SD. Now go to install, select storage, select the location of your files. First, you will flash the firmware and then you will flash the official .OS based on OSS vendor. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. Now let's wait for the files to be flashed. As you can see, the firmware has been flashed just fine and it's flashing the ROM now. All right, now as you can see, the files have been flashed and there is no error, everything is successful. So wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And once the ROM is booted, we will quickly have a look at how smooth it is and what are the files, you know, what are the apps that are included pre-built into the ROM and stuff like that. And as you can see, you have the wonderful .OS boot logo coming up. So let's wait for the ROM to complete boot. So ignore this message which says there is an internal problem with your device and we will quickly skip through the setup part because we can do that later when we plan to use this ROM. So I'll be using this as well as Pixel Experience Plus on the Poco X3 Pro and I'll be reviewing them very very soon. Give this video a like if you want to see reviews of both the devices or both the ROMs on this particular device. Skip, 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 skipping through the setup part and just like that we are on the home screen of .OS which is inspired, yes you got it right, by Android 12. Now as you can see over here this Monet look like or Monet wannabe UI, whatever you want to call it, this gives your 
phone a very very flat fresh look right i really want to see what the refresh rate is over here it says minimum 30 so let's keep minimum to 60 so that things are a little smooth i'm not saying this is not a smooth rom but just before you know flashing this particular rom i was shooting a video on pixel experience plus and that was relatively more smoother uh, this is absolutely gorgeous it's it works great it is smooth let's actually see if we go to wallpapers let's go to built-in wallpapers okay home screen and lock screen okay so it does change the accent color of the entire ui so that is a feature that is working right now moving on if you go to settings over here you will see you do have a bunch of customization and it is actually laid out in an android 12 manner so it will be really really interesting to go ahead and review this rom now moving on if you talk about the camera application you still have the very very basic camera application and you have like 5 10 15 and 16 apps pre-installed and to the left you do have google discover and if we go to home settings you do have the pixel launcher or pixel experience launcher whatever you want to call it so the rom looks pretty pretty slick the flashing process is pretty good and the oss vendor itself is you know something that is not that difficult to flash if we go to about phone and if we go ahead and click on the android version you will see that this is the build date and it comes with the mochi kernel so so far the impressions has been pretty pretty decent it is slightly on the relaxed side i would not say slow the animations are on the relaxed side because of which you might find that this particular rom is slow or something like that but i'll use it let me know in the comment section if you want me to review this and pixel experience plus for the poco x3 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care Goodbye.